Hello, everyone. Hi, I'm so excited to be here and um, be here with such an amazing panel today. Uh, I can't wait. And I'm very, very honored to have Dr. Will as my co-host. Hi, Dr. Will. <laughs> what up? How you doing? I'm fine. I'm going to go ahead and introduce myself and, and then we're going to introduce our, you know, this esteemed panel. Sound okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're talking about define your why. And it's all through the stories. And all of us have great stories. So let me just tell you a little bit about me. I'm a consultant. I was a teacher. I live in the San Francisco Bay Area. I am also a coach and have started coaching programs. I have a podcast. It's called Rethinking Learning Podcast, where I have conversations on learning with all these distinguished people here. Yay! <laughs> I'm so lucky. Um, I also have a Twitter chat every other Monday where I co-host that with um, Shelly Vara. And I um, am a Teach SDGs ambassador. So I got a few things on my plate, including I'm an author. I've written two books on personalized learning and I'm writing one on Define Your Why all about stories. So this was just perfect for me. So Dr. Will, why don't you introduce yourself? Well, hello people, how are you doing? Uh, I generally go by the name of Dr. Will. I am an instructional technologist, writer, uh, documentarian, uh, do some consulting, uh, and I'm the host and creator of the Dr. Will Show, where I interview educators and entrepreneurs on leveling up. And uh, it's a good time to be here, especially to hang out with uh, Barbara Bray. All right, so people, if you're ready, you know we're here with an exciting group of panelists. And if everyone is ready, uh, will you please tell us your name, your role, and where you live? You want to start, uh, Lindsay? Sure. Hi there, Dr. Will. Hi, Barbara. Thanks so much for having me join you today. So um, my name is Lindsay Portnoy, and I am a cognitive scientist, uh, an educational entrepreneur, and currently also an associate teaching professor at Northeastern University and the author of the upcoming book called Designed to Learn. All right, Mo, you in the house? Yes, I am here. I'm happy to join you guys. I am Mike Mohammed. I'm in, coming to you from Brown Deer, Wisconsin, just outside of Milwaukee. And I am a secondary science teacher. I've been teaching high school science for the last 15 years out of my 19 years as a teacher. Wow. Nicole. Hi, I'm really excited to be here. My name is Nicole Biscotti, and I teach Spanish here in Phoenix, Arizona, but I'm originally from New York City. And in addition to teaching Spanish, I'm also a World Languages Department Chair. And I write about education. Right now I'm writing a book with my son, who is nine years old and has ADHD, and we're sharing our stories. And thank you for having me. You're welcome. Dan the man. Oh, Dan the man. With the plan, with the wife from Moran, no less. And that is true. <laughs> Dan Jackson, also known as Mind on ASAP, coming at you from Cary, North Carolina. And I like to think of myself as someone who helps students find their purpose and passion through experiential entrepreneurship education. In addition, I have just started my own nonprofit called Applied Synergies Partnership. And I'm very fortunate to be working with the DPI here in North Carolina and the MBA Tech Program in North Carolina State to integrate the two and uh, make certain that hands-on learning is turning our kids' minds on. Dan, you need to come on my podcast. Okay, sir, when? Just give me a date. Yes, sir. Well, you can see, Dr. Will, why I wanted these wonderful people on this show, right? <laughs> Aren't they amazing? And one of the things that um, we wanted to really kind of explore is define your why. And the reason is because a lot of the, uh, when I've talked to everybody on the podcast, some of the things that came out of their stories really blew me away, including yours, Dr. Will. 
especially with the things you're doing now in entrepreneurship. That's why you need, you and Dan need to really talk and actually all of them. They're amazing. So what, let me just share a little bit. I um, have been a consultant for over 20 years and um, I've been on different paths, have had different careers actually. And in, in that process, I kind of, the last four or five years, I was trying to figure out what my why is. I, I just couldn't figure it out. So I, that's one of the reasons I started the podcast. I wanted to talk to people who were doing amazing things and figure out how they define their why. And so, um, you know, it was for me, I found out I wanted to be a, a storyteller a better storyteller. I've learned through uh, uh, Lindsay, who um, I got to go to South by Southwest with her. <laughs> we, we had a lot of fun. We actually played a lot. But one of the things that happened is I realized she's an amazing storyteller. And I, I needed to learn from everybody. And so that's where the podcast I mean, what's one of the reasons I did the podcast and another is the reason why I wanted to write the book and everyone, you know, the, everyone on the panel has written a story in my book. And so I'm really, really fortunate that they've done that. 